All right, today, Chef Mom is going to teach us how to make chicken broth. So, uh, you know, right from scratch. So, all right, Chef Mom, how do, how do, how do we do it? With chicken broth, this is not chicken soup. You want, this is just broth for mm -hmm. uh, uh, the capoletti soup. Or okay. if you just need, want broth and you don't want soup. With broth, you have to get the fatty part of the chicken okay. uh, with the bone. Yeah, okay. got some thighs in here. The best is all wings, okay? Right. There's, but there's some wings. So we in each pot we have five thighs and five wings. Okay. We will fill right. that up with water, bring it to a boil, skim the top, and we will add just celery, onion, one large onion, and one clove of garlic per pot and a potato to absorb any of the grease. That's the reason for okay. the potato. And right. we'll show you that as we go along. But that's that's how you make broth only, okay? No leeks? You can use leeks, but we don't have them. Scotty forgot <laughs> to buy them at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, it did. So, but it'll, it will come out just as good, you think? It, it should come, yes. Yeah. It should what, come what does The purpose of leeks does what? It, it, it swings it up? Right. The, the leeks have a, a stronger flavor than an onion. There you All go. All right, but yeah. we're using an onion now because... Uh, uh, forgot the leeks. He forgot the leeks, so yeah. that's fine. Okay. So right now we're starting out with just putting the chicken in here and boiling it until we get all of the, I call it scum off the top, and then we add the vegetables. And when mm -hmm. we add the vegetables, we'll tune back in. All right. So go ahead. Go ahead, Chef. Now, Tell them. now when, when you see the scum coming on the top, it's time to get the scum off. This right here. Right. So you just... There's a tool for it. Yeah, uh, a little screen, uh, a little handheld screen, whatever they call it. But that that would be really handy here. But I I don't have one, so I'm just using this phone. And the, why do why do you want to get this off? What's the purpose we, of getting this off? Number one, it it'll, it'll make the soup very greasy. And there you go. Mm -hmm. This is like all the chicken. Uh, this is like grease from the chicken, right? Is right. that what this is? Yeah. From the skin. It's coming from mm -hmm. the skin, right? Yeah. Okay. And you want to leave the skin on because every, all of this stuff gives it flavor. Absolutely. And you're not going to eat the skin naturally when everything is done. This is great. But you want all of this for the flavor. Yeah, this is really good. And I must say that your uh, chicken broth, Mom, is the best I've ever had. Okay. Yeah, very good, very good chicken broth. All right, so we got done. You know, getting the, the, the scum off of the top of the of the broth, and when uh, we got we got salt here, right? Right, we got salt it. All right, so just tell me how much. Now this is the this is the pink salt. It don't matter. This is that Himalayan salt. So Chef Mom Prince, I want to make sure uh, how much how much salt would you say? I would say maybe about two two tablespoons to that pot. What do you think? Good. Yeah. That's good, right? Yes. You can always add salt. Right. All right, that's enough. Okay. All right, we're good on that. Now and you put all the vegetables in whole because you're going to take them off, off, out because you only want the broth. Okay. So, so we got there's an there, onion. There's a, that, and that's a sweet onion too, by the way. Okay. Then you add your celery and another important thing, don't throw the leaves away. There you go. The leaves give it added flavor. There you go. That's celery. That's with the, the leaves. celery. Yep. And we cleaned it, we cleaned up, you know, we wash it off, it's good. Then we all, because these potatoes are small, it's usually one big potato, but we're going to put in two small ones, that absorbs any grease. One clove of garlic. Clove of garlic? Just one? one? Just one clove? Yeah. Okay. You don't want the soup to taste like garlic, you just want to give it a little flavor. And chopped parsley. All right. Now a little, you bit, little hand, little handheld, you know. Right. Up in your, like, you know, the palm of your hand. There and you then you, uh, you put the lid on and let it boil and it'll turn a nice yellow. All right, so our broth, our chicken broth, let's get back to that. Uh, we're done with it. And, uh, you know, what What we have here, we have, I mean, we have, we, you know, we made two pots of it. We made a lot of it. And this is what you're looking for, this really nice color. Look at that. That is great chicken broth right there, and it really smells really good too. But to get to that, you know, we made two pots, so um, we have the chicken here, and we're gonna we're gonna take this all out. Now, basically, what we did 
We boil this at a high heat for about an hour, at a very high heat. Then after an hour, we put it on a, on a very low heat for another couple hours. Like the, your lowest heat that you have on your burner. Like three Just, hours. Yeah. But the, and then I let it, we let it sit for a while because we, we were, you know, we were doing other stuff. You know, we were making the capolettis and all that type of stuff. So, uh, but here's what we're going to do. Now, this is all the stuff that we showed you that we had uh, in there as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this, we're going to take everything out. The chicken, the celery, the onion, and potato. all the, the, right, the potato as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make chicken salad with this as well. Okay? We're going to show you this. Okay? So, and, and what, what you... Um, let me, let me look at the color on that broth. Look how great it is. Okay, so we're taking all this out. Okay, just with one of these. And if you don't have one of these, that's fine. You can just, you know, just use some type of strainer that whatever you know, whatever you got, don't matter. Okay, so you know, so whatever chicken you use, make sure you use a bone. You need you need a uh, chicken with the, with the bone in. It, okay. If you notice the chicken. Some of, he's just pulling bones out for some of them. The chicken oh, falls yeah, right it's off all, the bone. Oh, yeah, it's falling right Yeah, right. It's all in liquid. Chef Mom, anything you want to say about the broth? Yeah, you don't use breasts. You have to use the wings and the dark meat because okay. that's where all your your fat is. Okay. Uh, breast is too dry. It doesn't, shoot, it doesn't give you any flavor even though you have a breast bone. So it has to be more or less. The wings make the best. Okay. Because they have the most, they have the, they have the like the, the bone. They have the, the, you know. And and the wings have more fat on it. And, okay. Uh, All right. And dark meat. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but the the bread. Then you after you make your broth, you can cut up your your. Uh, well, this is just broth for the capoletti. You know, it's not right. soup. Right. This is the, right. No, we're not making chicken soup. Right. This is. We're broth. just making broth. Correct. Right. So if you want to make your own broth rather than buy it, that's how you do it. Correct. Look at that. Hold on a second. Look at how nice, look at how great this is. I tell you what. Hold on. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Watch this. I'm gonna get. Here's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna show you here. You know what's great about this too? When we get done, we, you know, we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in some containers and we're gonna freeze it. Or you can you can uh, yeah. jar it. You can right can it. Put it put in a glass jar. It's called canning, but it's in a glass jar. You know, and uh, you can do that as well. You know, look look at that. Look at that. Look at that nice color. Look at that. Look how great that is. And I tell you what, this is like. And it's all homemade. Right. Nothing artificial. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. You know? Well, see. Here we go, Sarah. You ready? Taste mm -hmm. test. Here we go. It's good. It, it's very. It's very. It's, it's got a lot of packed with flavor. It's, it's nice. It's, it's a nice sweet broth. It's good. Very good. You know. So. You know, I encourage you to make this, and uh, hit the like button. I hope it improves the quality of your happiness. And also hit the sub the uh, subscribe button. So thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>